Hello and welcome to the next part of Let's Play Modded Skyrim. <laughs> we explored this abandoned mining camp, read a few journals, which indicated this woman called Midris Jen has found a great treasure here. Let's hope she's alright and there isn't something unfortunate here. First sign of trouble. Oh, I didn't see you there. Well, I'm surprised to see that she's actually still alive. Of course I'm troubled. I'm on the verge of incredible wealth. But my cowardly workforce ran at the first sign of danger. We were excavating this old tomb when we opened a chamber full of corpses. The team took one look, turned tail, and ran. Well, probably not like these. The ones in there are all still walking around. So definitely case, another draw then. If I can't get then. past the creatures in that room, I can't recover the treasure. I need more manpower. Legend says this tomb holds a treasure that bestows great power on the one who discovers it. Beyond that, not much more is known. Obviously this treasure will fetch a good deal of gold, and I'm willing to let you share in the reward when we find it. In any case, if I can't get past the creatures in that room, I can't recover the treasure. I need more manpower. <laughs> Say, that's not a bad idea. You look like you could handle yourself against these A great treasure is beasts. going to be I'll tell you what, a word you wall, I'm sure. And I'll split it with you. Nothing that you Deal? can sell. Excellent. With my brains and your brawn, that treasure will soon be mine. Uh, ours. First, I need you to clear the main chamber of those monstrosities. I'll stay here until you're finished, planning our next move. Okay, looks like I'm gonna do all the work. Well, I'm quite happy with that, because she'd just get in the way. Women are very strong characters in this game. You had that aunt who went in Hilgrin's tomb. You've got Lydia. You've got this woman as well, and she... Well, she seems quite not strong. Strong's not the right word for it. Stupid is another word. Strange. So these draw wandering around are going to be prime fodder for my arrows. Good as dead. You will be so dead. So we're two out of three. I must be tired. My aim's not getting so good. You made a figure. Two arrows let you do the rest of the work. We did well. Don't you think so? I think we did very well letting Lydia do all the work. She doesn't mind so much, she doesn't mind frost attacks. Nords, after all, have a 50% resistance to frost. That mod that I added makes harvesting gold a lot slower, because gold counts as a single object. down now I'm gonna have to shift a few things how can I serve you my Thane I'm carrying around that woodcutter's axe because it's quite useful for firewood I haven't come across anywhere that I can chop though I think that's all the weight that she can take. She's subject to the same sort of encumbrance rules that I have, so she needs bandoliers as well. I don't know if she'll equip them though. <coughs> Let's tell Madrissa Dren that I've cleared out her chamber. Have you killed them all yet? She's coming this way. Then we've no time to lose. Follow me. Don't fall behind. 
seriously, what's the rush? This tomb has been down here for thousands of years. This is what a lot of PC gamers complain about. Because they say consoles have dumbed down PC gaming because everything is go, 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 just like this one. It doesn't need to be. How weird. Right, looks like there's a gate. Hmm. These no doors rush seem after to be all. the only thing left between me and the treasure. There'd better be. Me and the treasure. I didn't come all this way to leave empty-handed. There must be a way to activate these doors deeper in the ruins. Here, take this key. It should open the doors on either side of the chamber. She's so comical. Bossing this me around all the time. So Angervan ruins seem to be two different chambers surrounding one main chamber and it looks like we have to explore both of these chambers to open the main chamber I expect that's where the treasure is For those people who notice that all these dungeons are very light, apparently there is a good lore reason for it, because the draw, of course, are... they're not just undead, they are worshippers. So, they actually... these draw actually maintain this tomb in this state. Swinging axe traps. It's not going to be me who activates these traps, it's going to be my followers and they're going to chop me. You will be practically does all my fighting for me. I think even if I didn't have Vilja, she'd still get in and do most of the fighting. Right, there's a couple of gates here. I'm sure that these gates have to be open. Okay, this book, Before the Ages of Man. Uh, this book is quite a good lore book, actually. First of all, it describes the time before the Empire and there's also the creation story as opposed to something like Genesis. In the Elder Scrolls universe there was an era first of all known as the Dawn Era and that's the time before mortal time when the gods decide how the world is made. So the story is the cosmos is formed from chaos by Anu and Padme. Akatosh or Oriel formed time Lorcan tricked the gods into creating the mortal plane, Nern, in which Mundus and Tamriel are. Once the gods realised they had been tricked, the gods convened at Dyreni Tower in High Rock, and most of them decided to leave, and they were the Daedra. The others sacrificed themselves into the mortal plane so they could stay, and they are the Aedra. Lorcan, who tricked them, had his heart torn out, and thrown from the tower, and where it landed, a volcano formed called Red Mountain. And that's the end of the Dawn Era where the immortals start appearing. That's the elves first, followed by men. Initially there were beast people as well, which are the Khajiit and the Argonians, but they were displaced by the elves, because they were more primitive. And the initial elves established the White Gold Tower in Cyrodiil, the Crystal Tower on Somerset Isle and they populated the Adamantian Tower or the Dereni Tower in High Rock. They also built the ancient towers in Morrowind like Talmora and all those tree type towers. The book goes on to say 
that a group of elves split off from the original elves and became the Velothi. And we hear the story where the Kaima leave the elven lands and they settle in Resdin which becomes Morrowind. The account's slightly different from others in that it says the Kaima, or the Velothi, coveted the lands and the resources of the Dwemer that originally lived there. There's no real source to say where the Dwemer actually originally came from. It does mention that the Dwemer were free thinkers and they delved into cities in the mountains surrounding Morrowind in, in between Skyrim and Morrowind. In the late Merithic period, the Kaima degenerated into a tribal culture where the great houses eventually developed. All the towers that they had built in Morrowind were eventually abandoned at this time. Of course, later on they were occupied. In this time, humans from Atmora settled in northern Tamriel. Oiscremor was the first to come over, and he built the legendary city of Sarthal, which was destroyed during the Night of Tears, but Oiscremor soon returned with his 500 companions. During this time as well, the legendary hero known as Pelinel Whitestrake, Weissmere, and Hans the Fox wandered Tamriel, gathering armies, conquering lands, ruling and abandoning his kingdoms to wander again. He's mentioned in Oblivion and most of the histories and the books as well. I think he's a very important character who's not really mentioned that much and I guess he I remains somewhat of a mystery character. Something Hopefully we learn a bit dead. more about him in the future though. So let's creep around this crypt a little bit more. We spy some Draugr up ahead again. Knocked off the bridge nicely. There's one more Draugr I can hear scuttling around. What are you looking at, Vilger? One more, but he's not running out and trying to attack me. I know some of you probably think I'm being overcautious here. If it's just a Draug, it's absolutely fine, but if it's a Draug Scourge, then I'm going to be dead. And I don't want to die. Did you hear that noise? I wonder what it was. I'm not sure what actually sparks off villagers' conversations. That arch has run off. That was pretty smart, I can't shoot him. Yes, like I was saying, I don't know what sparks off villagers' conversations. Whether it's because there's an enemy around, you made a big or mistake. she's heard someone. Whether it's because there's an enemy around, or whether it's completely random, but I cannot be sure. Lydia appears to have disappeared somewhere. But I don't mind, she reappears. She goes wandering off by herself. I quite, f quite find it funny when you're playing Skyrim, and your companion disappears, you're sneaking around a dungeon, and then you suddenly bump into them later on, and they're just running around. Companions are completely fearless. I can smell something dead. So it doesn't look like that draw's coming back. No bridge, so we have to do a jump. A weak fear poison. Okay, that was not worth it for a weak fear pers poison. Lydia's come back. Excuse me, ladies. Those traps aren't particularly dangerous. That only took off about a third of my health. You'd have thought that these giant mechanical spears coming out of the ceiling would have killed me, but no. Be 
the thing is, there's no way to know that it was a trap unless you've been killed by it before. So I think that's quite fair by the developers. You made a big Not mistake. Good. <laughs> Get out the way. You leave him alone. That's the main disadvantage of having companions. They block your way. You will be so dead. Lydia's not so bad because she stands around about two or three meters behind you, but companions that really ram into your butt, you can't actually retreat. Bill is not the worst though. There's this dog that you get later on that is an absolute nightmare, actually nudges you in the butt all the time. But uh, in my opinion, the girl's best friend is a fierce sword with soul trap. There's still that archer drog that I haven't killed. Of course, he should be half dead by now. I'm glad that my mother cannot see me right now. There's the archer drog. Why on earth did he die there? This place could be massive. Any traps? We have to be careful. So I really don't know what happened to him. I didn't poison him. He just happens to have lain down and died here. Don't get lost. What it could have been, it could have actually been a pot or something, because pots actually do cause you damage in this game. Sounds ridiculous, yes. But pots do damage you. That lever leads us back into, not the main chamber, but it opens up a gate for us that we need to go down. Just cautious that this is not a trap. doesn't look like it. I can get to it okay. Some of the traps in Skyrim, if you stand quite skew, you actually avoid it. It's only if you're standing a foot away from the front of the chest that the trap actually gets to hit you. My lock picking's not getting any better. Okay, okay. 16 gold. I can find almost as much gold in these urns. I'm sure this is the same place where I kill that drug. And this, I think, is the same place where I read that book, Ages of Man. Yep, there's the embalming tool that I saw before. Did notice this door before. Seems to be some sort of storage center. I could hear footsteps. I think that's just Lydia running into, just running on the spot. Guess I'm just being silly. They fit somehow. So this chamber's still not done. a dead end so I'm not expecting any enemies from that way. Ever since I was ambushed by that drog that was sitting on a chair, I'm super cautious of one sitting somewhere or jumping out to ambush me. 
There's a subtle trap. You will be so dead. Lydia, watch out for the log. Good, good team. You will be so dead. I could say I contributed to that. Lydia didn't take any damage at all from that trap. All these banded iron shields... Makes me want to wear heavy armor. Still here. I wonder if she can take this for me. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Obviously, obviously not. Do I want to give it to Vilja? What I think I might do is I might get rid of some of my equipment here. All the gold that we're picking up from the urns and the chests is actually weighing us down. I wonder how this place looked like when it was brand new. I would I love it if someone retextured it so you'd have get you'd have dead. a clan of dragons that actually maintain their tomb in pristine condition. That coffin looks suspicious. Don't fool me. I've seen too many drawg tombs to know better. You made a oh, I big can't get out villagers in the way again. Do I have any healing potions? I need healing! Cured. Disease? No, nothing there. Any healing food? Okay, I'm gonna eat a fish. Hide behind Vilja. I don't mind hiding behind Vilja, it's Vilja's fault that I couldn't get out and I got smacked by a two handed sword. I don't heal myself that often. Had to be done that time though. Come on, show me how brave you are. That frost spell is just like a cold shower for her. My character is the one with the fur, so she should be able to take cold. I'll just eat a bit more food because my character's getting hungry again. I don't want my encumbrance to drop. I was thinking how scary these dungeons would actually be if they made the dungeons a lot smaller. You can actually mod it in the creation kit, but I'm talking about instead of having these wide open spaces having something really dark, really claustrophobic and instead of weak drog and restless drog you have high level drog, just a few of them dotted around and a lot of drog corpses as well so you can't tell that would be a truly scary dungeon if I could use the creation kit well that's what I would do I would make a properly scary drog dungeon with no lights or minimal lighting that you had to use a torch plus it will be really claustrophobic with lots of twists and turns so you can't use arrows and high level drawg as well I don't know if anyone would want to play it anyhow we're coming up to the end of the recording now so I hope you enjoyed this let's play and hopefully I'll see you next time
where we'll hopefully we'll complete this dungeon and get this amazing treasure that Madrisha Dren says there is here. <laughs>